Relic Radio. This is Relic Radio Sci-Fi, old-time radio science fiction stories from RelicRadio.com. us when we land. I guess the kindest thing would be to drop us all on some really remote island in the South Pacific and instruct everybody to keep off. I hope they'll be kind. Or send us back into space. That is what I'm afraid of. Telescope on Tycho City. Mars is around the other side of the sun. Breaking over the half complete. Dark side of Earth. Not a single glow of the city. Nothing. We sit quiet for half an hour after landing. Routine tests for atmosphere. Check radiation. If things are satisfactory, a scouting party will be sent out. Meanwhile, I'm open the last of the hooch. All hands not on duty report on the mess room. When we land, it'll be late afternoon. Yeah. Sun shining. After rain. And by the perpetual calendar, it's the 21st of April, 2129. SF-68. 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 Biotex, the new soak and free wash powder, brings you SF-68, stories which plunge vividly into other worlds, other dimensions, other times. SF-68. Mrs. G. Griffin of Parliament Street, Port Elizabeth, to thank her for the letter she sent in regard to our biotechs. Mrs. Griffin said that as a young mother of two small boys with a habit of getting very dirty very quickly, I wish to say how wonderful is your new product, Biotechs. I find it removes any stains, and your product is simply marvelous for nappy. Thank you for the endorsement, Mrs. Griffin, and I hope that what you've had to say will encourage many other housewives to follow your suggestion and use Biotechs. Then Lola Hawk of the Grove Montclair Durban also sent me a letter saying she appreciated very much indeed the time she saved in using Biotex. She went on to say that she hoped the day would come when she could buy very large packets like other products because she felt a great need to use a lot of Biotex for family washing. So, there you are. Two excellent endorsements of Biotex, ladies, and I would like to persuade you to use it in your home. Remember the name is B-I-O-T-E-X. Biotex. SF-68 presents The New Wine, adapted for broadcasting and produced by Michael McCabe. The New Wine. Best. You won't get me that way. I know what I'm giving up, and for how long? Eight years. Oh, eight years without seasons, without daybreak or sunset. Eight years of artificial air and artificial food and confinement in a metal tube 50 yards long. 55. Oh, 
divide them something utterly futile, all for nothing. No, you're wrong. It's worth it, all right. Worth losing me? Ellen, you're a qualified biologist. Look, I can get you in. I still can. No, I'm a colleague, Hal. I couldn't face it. Face it? Well, it's not the danger, but... Oh, the long years. I, I couldn't take it. I was born in the backwoods, remember? That here in New York near Kelvin Hall. And even there you can see trees, children, grass, and... I see. And that's just it. I don't want to have to wait years and years to have some of my own. Ah, oh, children. Well, I suppose we're both stubborn. I'll give your regards to your great-great-granddaughter. Maybe I'll marry her. Oh, the time factor. Is it certain? I don't understand mathematics. To me, it's fantastic. Look, I could go over the theory with you, but it would be wasting the little time we have. It's certain enough. The ratio, as far as this trip's concerned, is approximately 12 to 1. For us, 8 years. For the world we leave behind, a century. We return in late April, in the year 2129. And everyone you know today will be dead. There'll be others. Your great-great-granddaughter, for instance. We'll call our eldest daughter, Ellen. There will be no wives for you in the world of 2129. You mean that, don't you? Why not? Because it won't be your kind of world. Oh, you may return with the prestige of great interstellar explorers. They may give you medals and honors, but they won't share their lives with you. They will not be able... They will not be able to, even if they should wish it. The telepaths and non-telepaths will be like something out of a zoo. I wonder what you were getting at. Your own project, it's uh, running smoothly then? We're building the generators. You've kept that quiet. Were you afraid I'd give you away? <laughs> You were too interested in what you were going to do for me to bother you with Project X, Harl. And you might have said something. Oh, as a joke, perhaps. Because I know you don't take it seriously. Well, I can. No, it seems so crazy. Pucky on the back isn't crazy. Well, it's just that my own thing seemed sensible. Yours didn't. Conceit, I guess. Not conceit. There's been photographs. They've been writing up the astronaut ever since the keel was taken up to the assembly orbit. Everybody's interested in what you're doing. We are only about to change the entire nature of man. Publicity won't help us. Then tell me about it now. <laughs> you know, that is conceit. The mathematics of your voyage is right over my head, but you expect to grasp the principles of genetic mutation in just one Hey, do you want no, 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 don't be touchy. No, we, we haven't got much time. You, you really can produce a breed of telepathic mutants that'll supplant us? No. It's bigger than that. Much bigger. We're going to change the human race in one sweep. Oh, there'll be no conflict between the old race and the new because the new will be the children of the old. All the children. It's through its work. All the important stuff. Based on the work of a group called Dianetics in the middle 20th century, the important thing they got hold of was the ability of the unborn child to receive mental impressions from the mind of the mother. Druitt was an embryologist. <laughs> he knew more about the unborn child than anyone had ever known. I never heard about them. <laughs> you wouldn't have. Astronautics make front-page news. Only embryologists read embryology. Anyway... Drew had had a stroke of luck. He was working on monkeys. He turned out a lot of freaks. But he also turned out a pair of twins that obviously communicated without word or gesture. The radiation he was using prevented the normal inhibition of the natural telepathic function that normally takes place at birth. You... You, you mean, uh, anyone? Uh, we uh, might have, uh, or could have been telepaths. We could have communicated with others even hundreds of miles away without making a sound or a single movement. Possibly. Oh, oh, monkeys are one thing, men are another. Do you think Druitt didn't know this? His assistant was a man called Whitaker. He was married, 
He worked with the group Do It with him. His wife had a child. You mean? Not that all the heroes go up in rocket ships, Harl. The child was perfectly healthy. So were the twins a year later. All three are clear and 100% telepaths were checked. And on this basis... We're setting you... up the generators to cover the whole planet. But we don't... Not asking people. I mean, just, just changing everything. I mean, well, what about the wishes of people? It's everywhere. You can't turn science backwards. The choice is between having what we plan happen over a long, long time or doing it in one giant step. Oh, it will happen anyway. It's the next logical evolutionary step for mankind. This way, at once, there'll be no trouble. The world you come back to will have thanked us for what we will have done. And if I don't see it your way? If I think the world ought to be told now while it's got a chance to say no to the scientists? You'd be violating your confidence. And anyway, I'd simply deny everything. You'd be thought mad and you'd, you'd probably be dropped from the Procyon trip. Yeah. Oh, anyway, that's not my world. I've written it off. Well, we can always take another trip back to Procyon if we don't like the century we land in. And I shall be dead then. A long time dead. Come, come along with us. See your great experiment in its perspective. Come back and look at the world you've helped to create in its full flowering. Oh, is it worth it, you? No, no. I want to see it now. Tomorrow, there won't be any time for anything. I know. I'll... I'll leave a message for my telepathic great-great-granddaughter that she should give you a kiss for old time's sake. I'm sure she won't grudge that. Don't come to the park gates. Stay here now. I'll take an order cab. Goodbye, Harl. Bye, Ellen. <laughs> we might try beaming in on some of those telepaths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, even if people have grown three heads, they'll be a happy relief. Yeah, nearly over. Well, I don't suppose any of us would have volunteered if we'd guessed what it was going to be like. You stood it well. I was born with a broad face and slow reflexes. I played with what I had. I don't think I could have kept going, but for the pleasure of seeing how it gave the rest of you guys the needle. The one shock, I suppose, was Lee getting killed on Pocky on two. Mm. Yeah. Well, now we'll see whether all that guts about telepaths is true or not. Ah, just because some dame he was friendly with spouted off about it. Just a dream, Ferris. A dream, that's all. Helen is a... was a very remarkable woman. If she said it could be done, then it could. Well, Weinberg doesn't think it can. Weinberg didn't believe the trees on Proc 2 were locomotive until one came up behind him and darn near lifted his helmet off. Factory of cutting party will be set out. Meanwhile, I'm opening the last of the hooch. All hands not on duty report to the mess room. When we land, it'll be late afternoon. 
Sun shining. After rain. And by the perpetual calendar, it is the 21st of April, 2129. Some time, ladies, I've been telling you about amazing new biotechs and how it melts out the stubbornest stains by a new enzyme method. And I had a look at our mail recently, and I found letters from listeners who are now confirmed users of biotechs. Our Mrs. Dodkins of Florida wrote to say, I've never used anything which cleans so easily as biotechs does. I soaked my son's motor mechanic for us overnight in biotechs, and after washing next day, was so delightfully surprised to see them really clean and white. And Mrs. Dodkins goes on to say, last week there were colds in the house, and of course hankies had to be washed. I soaked them in biotex for a few hours, and they were clean and snow white without even washing. Thank you for a wonderful product. It's an absolute boon to the housewife. All right, Mrs. Dodkins, thank you. And I hope you all remember it, ladies. The name is Biotex, and you can buy it where you live. Well, where, where are they all, Harl? Huh? I think this, the very field we took off from nearly a century ago, Earth time. Hmm. Where are they, Harl? Huh? Did they telepathize our coming and retreat to some more civilized solar system? <laughs> if they did, they must have smelled us out a good way beyond Centauri. Hey, look. There's an oak tree on the landing strip out there. It must be a clear 40 years old. I'll, uh, I'll take another glass, please, Captain. Sure. Help yourself. Could they have abandoned the cities in some way? Got beyond needing them, perhaps? The cities are primitive, I suppose. Well, nothing. Nobody anywhere. Not a fine. Oh, a fine. Well, cities are just collections of human beings. One way or the other, you've got to have them. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen. The air is perfect. Apart from being too clean. Too clean? No smog. No radiation, either. Everything's fine. Mac is Steve. Hall. Go out and have a look. Now, take it easy, huh? You've got a lot of time. forgotten what rain was like. This is the worst thing that could happen. I mean, if there'd been people, any kind of people to meet us, it, it wouldn't have mattered that the ones we said goodbye to weren't among them, but, but now... All this enters. I don't know how the rest of you guys feel, but my ghosts are all around me. No great-great-granddaughter to meet me. They, they could maybe have given up, America. Maybe, Steve, maybe. But if that is so, then they've given up using lights at night as well. There were no signs of cities anywhere on the dark side. Here, come on. We'll push on into Detroit. Nothing. Nothing. There's no one there. We, we got kind of crazy at one time. We shouted and bawled at the top of our voices. We sang songs. We, we, we couldn't raise anyone. There was no one to raise. I didn't think there would be. Any theory? No. So what do we do? Tomorrow we put up a market balloon. If there's a group within reach, you got to fetch them. We'll have an intermittent light on it by night. And you can take the auxiliary and go hunt over the rest of the planet. Don't concentrate too much on cities. But give the bigger ones a quick scan. 
take um, three or four days over it. Now we have a night's sleep under normal gravity. We're out there in fresh air. something. Nothing's come to us either. Supper's ready. You can talk while we eat. We've made the control tower livable in. The control tower is the ground floor of the mess room now. We cleared to run away while you were gone. Marshal moves up. We, uh, we still sleep in the astral. No point in moving out we know what we're going to do. Hi, man. Hi, man. How is New York? Dead. Quite a pretty corpse. We saw a whale spouting under what was left of Brooklyn Bridge. Paris, London, Rome? Like Baghdad, Delhi, and Tokyo, all dead. We, we saw lions hunting wild boars in Rome. Hey, hey, tell him about that, mate. Yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. We, we hovered a little over 50 feet. And a, a lion was chivying a couple of boars along a road. Well, they tried to swerve away, and a second lion came in from among the ruins to head them off. When they tried to get away, in the other direction, there was a third lion there. The fourth was waiting for them in the piazza. So? Well, I- imagine a world where all the creatures communicate on the subconscious level. Telepathy is automatic and universal. What? Well, are you trying? What happens in a world like this to your beasts of prey? Well, I won't catch anything. But the rabbit knows when the fox is coming up behind you. Sure, and however hard the cat tries, it can never get in a position to jump on a bird because the bird knows. Telepathy. You were right. But, but there's an answer. The lions had it. The beasts of prey work together. You, you mean those generators, your, that woman you knew? Yeah, the generators affected the whole planet. Everything living. No, no, not, not everything. There, there must be a point where the mind's not capable of this kind of telepathy, but I, I, I don't know where that point is. But the people can surely... I don't know. I, I don't know. One guess is as good as another. I ribbed you about those telepathic supermanures and I put them in a zoo as specimens of primitive man hog. I wish to heaven we were in a zoo right now. Behind bar with kid promenading past us. Eating candy and watching us do tricks. I'd, I'd stand on my head for them cheerfully. So, where do we go from here? Or what do we... How? Oh, do... Just... Well, tell me if I'm going crazy, will you? Hey, what? I think I can see a man sitting on a donkey, riding over this way. Captain Matt! I made it. I swore I'd let the old cab in. I made it. You're back. And I'm alive. Well, who are you? Where are you? I, I mean, oh, where do you come oh, from? What are you doing? Oh, look, hold it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. To follow the game. Oh, man, tell us. Tell us how old. The game went, and I followed. How old? But I made it. I swore I'd live till you all came Please in. Please tell me, how old are you? And oh. I guess I'm near enough for a hundred. hundred? Well, in the same year, the astronaut took off. They called me Lee after the captain. Well, he's yeah. dead. Well, 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 where are they? Uh, who? Oh, well, the, the people. All the people. Oh, you mean the rest of the people? Well, they died. I had a couple of buddies to winter for last. Well, that took them. You know, I wasn't even sure I could remember how to talk. I... <laughs> he was born before the generators started. Yes. Oh, you knew about the generators. Well, yeah. Well, what, what did they do, the, the generators? Oh, they made telepaths. The children, animals, too. That's why I can't trap them so easy now. But well, what see? happened to the telepaths? Uh, what? Oh, what well, happened to the telepaths? Oh, uh, the, uh, well, uh, they grew up, some of them. They were okay as kids. I had a couple myself. 
And people kept hoping that the effects would all die away. You know, my boy, when he got to be 15 or, or 20, I, well, I can't rightly remember. But why did they die? What killed them? Was it something else besides the telepathy? Oh, no, no. I, the, the telepathy killed them, of course. It was bound to. And some of them shot themselves. Or hang themselves or whatever, but most of them just died. But they were why died. Died. I mean, why? I must... why? Because people have got bad minds. Why else? Oh, I guess you all know what you're like if you look at yourselves deep down and honest. Liars, cheats, murderers, I guess we're all like that. Now, what comes out of our mouths has been, uh, well, uh, through a filter. But there were no filters for the telepath. It hit them and kept on hitting them all the time. They knew everything, every thought in every person, every desire, every... Well, the better any one of them was, the quicker it killed him. Yes, the girls lived longer as a rule, though. So, that's how it was. But was it a fixed mutation? Uh, could there be isolated outposts of the telepaths and, and, and their children? Oh, <laughs> their children. <laughs> the ones who grew up and have never married. But why not? You ever try falling in love with yourself? After thousands and thousands of years, it come to this. But I made it, you see. I knew I would. I had to see you come back. So things could start again, you see. Start again? What do you mean, old man? They called me Lee. After the captain, I knew all about the flight. I saw the records. That you had two women in the crew. Things can start again now. Yeah. Two women. Sub-navigator Mary Rogers. Assistant medic Lucy Perino. Aged, respectively, 52 and 54. With amazing new Biotex, the stubbornest stains will vanish. Yes, vanish clean away. Just by soaking your laundry overnight in cold water, or for an hour or two in warm water, or by pre-washing it quickly in your washing machine. Get amazing new Biotex today. I feel great. You are my sunshine, my... A moment ago, you had a splitting headache. That was before I took a grandpa headache powder. Grandpa headache powders kill pain. Soothe strain nerves and lift depression. Grandpa headache powders work quickly because their famous triple action formula dissolves almost immediately. Get the quickest relief of any pain, all pain. Get Grandpa headache powders. Ah, Grandpa. You have just been listening to The New Wine by John Christopher. Brought to you by Biotex, the new soak and free wash powder. The new wine was adapted for broadcasting and produced by Michael McCabe. Listen again next Friday night at half past nine to SS 68.